and the any unbeliever, this, 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 this is a tell hate. The video from the Boko Haram group is being poured over by the world. It's the first official claim of responsibility for the kidnappings of more than 200 schoolgirls in Nigeria. Not the first act of crime by the group, and they say it won't be the last. So who are they and what are they after? Boko Haram is a radical Islamist movement, so-called first by the people in Madaguri, where it was formed. Its name broadly translates from the local Hausa language as fake education is forbidden, but the fake has since become to mean Western. The group, formed by Muslim cleric Mohammed Yusuf in 2002, was initially concerned with stopping children being sent to schools it considered too westernised. Many Muslim families sent their children to a school at a religious complex in Madaguri set up by Yusuf. Over time, it became a recruiting ground for soldiers to fight and follow the group's political aim of creating an Islamic state with Sharia law, something they wanted spread to the whole of Africa. The version of Islam it believes in says you shouldn't vote in elections, wear shirts and trousers, things that are considered Western. The group's first major attack came in 2009 when it stormed police stations and government buildings in Madaguri. Shootouts on the street led to hundreds of Boko Haram supporters dead. Yusuf was eventually caught and killed. Security forces claimed the group was finished. It regrouped with a new leader and initiated a new wave of violence. A prison attack in Bauchi State in 2010 freeing hundreds of their supporters. A bomb attack in December that year killing 80 people and a New Year's Eve attack on barracks in Abuja. Explosions in 2011 and the bombing of police and UN headquarters in Abuja in June and August. Over the last five years, thousands have died and recent attacks have prompted fears they are spreading the violence from the northeast. Boko Haram believes the Nigerian state is run by non-believers and disputes the president's leadership. The threat has been recognised by the West. A US congressional report towards the end of 2011 warned the group was an emerging threat and labelled it a terrorist organisation in 2013 with growing ties with al-Qaeda groups, something Boko Haram denies. Analysts say the threat will only start to disappear if poverty is reduced and the education system supported by local Muslims is built. Nigeria is Africa's most populous country and the continent's number one oil producer. But the daily lives for so many people are stark. An estimated 72% of people in the north live in poverty, around 27% in the south. Continued security is likely to be key, with elections only 10 months away. If the Christian president, Jonathan, wins that vote, fears of political, ethnic and religious tensions being stoked may be realised, with further action by Boko Haram.